peach? Yeah. Ten bucks for a peach. Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon traveling around the world. This was our little camp spot for the last two nights. We thought it was a public park because that's how it was advertised on Google. Turns out we were trespassing. <laughs> yeah, we were camped for like two hours, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah, I think it was about two hours and uh, there's constantly trucks driving along this road and we're all a bit like, oh, maybe we shouldn't stay here. And then we just had some old Japanese man come to the back door <laughs> and start speaking to us and we're like, oh, hold on, hold on. And we got Google Translate and, and he's asking what we're doing here. And we explained, oh, we thought this was a car park. We hope to stay for a night. And uh, then he realized that we were nice people. And he told us that <laughs> we were, that the people that were driving back and forth on this road reported us as a suspicious vehicle. So yeah, he this... came to check us out and <laughs> see what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. And turns out the guy is the owner of this park yes. of those 6.5 hectare. It's an amazing garden. Yeah. So he was kind enough to let us let stay, us stay. here for the last two nights, gave us permission. And one of the amazing things is he let us use his private onsen. But it didn't end there. It got even better. So he then took us to his house that is like <laughs> a holiday home here. For him. Which we think. And he gave us beer. He gave us uh, little, snacks. little snacks. And we watched baseball together. Um, her and him, or her and him. Fell asleep. Yep. So I the then I had to wake him up at eight o'clock because yes. we went to what, what, see the fire, fireflies. Fireflies, and that was just hmm. oh, it's amazing. It was. Words can't describe how beautiful that was. Yeah. Then it was like, all in his private garden. Oh, and then Andy caught one for me and brought it to me. It was so <laughs> cute, and it was on my hand, and his bum That's was sad. glowing. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Walking around to the night. Look what I found. A little firefly. Oh yeah, turn the light off. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, it's on Andy's shoulder. We told me we only want to stay tonight, so we don't want to ask for another evening we would like to stay here. Yeah, we so don't want to over overstay our welcome. welcome. Well, check out, this is one pond out of three, I'm pretty sure. This is amazing. He built all of this himself over 33 years. We've got a big carb. You can see they're waiting, yeah, they're used to being fed by him. That's really amazing. There's a little hut over there, water lilies, and just amazing. It really feels like paradise, really calming. And his house is amazing too. Yeah. A little kangaroo. Living on his door uh, because we haven't we didn't see him today and we really want to say goodbye and thank yeah, him again. Yes. But yeah, leave but the note and then we get our way up to um Sapporo. Sapporo. Yeah. It's about a four hour drive, I think. Yeah, I tried to write kanji but oh, see how it goes. I didn't write it in the right order, yeah. I know that. So I have a quick pit stop at the Mishino Eki to cook our lunch because the next couple of days we will be in the city we don't want to waste our food. Serena is cooking some fish cakes. Yeah. Quickly cut this salad, some more spring onions with it and then we're on the road again. Never waste, never waste food. Dinner is served. Oh, not dinner. Sorry. Lunch, lunch. is served. Mm -hmm. Salad was it's the best salad dressing in the world. Uh -huh. Toasted sesame. Good 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We made to support last night, didn't film much because there's nothing to film. We're exploring the city today. We stayed in this car park here, I'll show you in a second. And let's, let's get going. So you're yeah, staying next to this sports center. Only problem we have, we heard last night, there's no toilet here. So there's a toilet across the road, but it will be locked in the evening. So you have to be a bit creative. No. That's where our people come in handy. There's another one. Oh yeah, sorry, yes, there's another yes. one. So I discovered down there. last night when Put I left. desperately woke up and needed to pee that the one that was nice, that's attached to the Sapporo beer house, it, it's locked up. <laughs> that's the problem when we stay in these cities. No, yeah. I'm I guess the biggest thing I really do not like about this type of light wall in our setup is the toileting when we're in a bigger city. It's, it's just a bloody night. For me, per can use a pee bottle and whatnot, but I just really don't like it. So no, fair enough. where so we can, we try and find we some public toilet. Car parks next to public toilets. Yeah. For me, it's not a problem to use a pee bottle, but yeah. Or 7-Elevens, and they have toilets, and you just go in there yeah. and use it. But then we always feel obligated when you need to buy that's something. We, that's why we buy like <laughs> 10 water bottles a day. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we actually figured out that we said last 24 days, consecutive except one night in South Korea where we had to fly all one bag mm -hmm. in the car. So we're getting more comfortable sleeping in the car actually in unknown areas. Absolutely. I think we looked at hotels to treat ourselves when we're in a big city. It is 350 bucks to 400 bucks minimum mm -hmm. and here we're spending like $24 Australian mm -hmm. for three nights. So my favorite part about Japan, well, that's my second favorite. That's what we're going later. Book off. I have a bit of an obsession with the second-hand stores here in Japan. So now we entered this fresh food market apparently. If anyone wanted to go or found on the internet. See what you can find. Looks similar to where we went in Zendai. Wow. Oh, he's laugh. a hard worker. <laughs> Old mate here. Oh, he's so cute. So it's 9.30 in the morning. We're so busy already. That's breakfast. <laughs> well, that's one way to drive fish in front of the aircon. Ten bucks for a peach. Oh, $10, one peach. Yeah, nothing. Oh, Wrong buddy, we got this. <laughs> so we have not eaten yet, so we are looking for somewhere to eat. So these are usually rice balls. Rice bowls. It's like um, fish on top. I don't have this tuna. I think this is a nightlife restaurant. Membership system. Wait, line, 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 line. Gotta keep our pet happy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that wasn't too bad. The most annoying thing is, you look at the menus, Prices are not including tax. Mm. I don't know what kind of weird system that is, but yeah. look here. So often these bars here, they don't include a 10% tax. What a coincidence, a book off. Oh, we might go here, shall we? Serena, see what treasures we can find. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't really need anything, but you never know. So if you love anime stuff, electronics, second hands, everything second hand. In a tight budget, what you could do. You got the internet cafe. 3500 for 24 hours. You can even get a shower. Yeah. What is that? A long tail tit. Long tail tit. <laughs> oh, what? Well. Your ice cream, and you usually always have this, the cream, the spoons stored in there. So, it's a, what is it? Fresh cream with mascarpone. Mm hmm. Only in Hokkaido, apparently. Oh, there we go. Ooh. They're like cake oh, on yeah. the inside. Mmm. Good. Just noticed. I think it's from the Kickers anime. I used to watch it every day. After I came back from primary school and high school. So there's something really cool um, that we've noticed in Japan is that anytime that there's a train line, you can always find really cool shops or you can find really cool bars and restaurants. I think I want to touch them there. 
You want to poke the bear? It's not a good idea. I think friend. it's real. Maybe was once. Was it taxidermy? That's the word. Ah, yes. Taxic, yeah, that's real. He's still here. No one took him. Pretty open as all. So we shall not here for a couple of hours and we explore the nightlife, a couple of bars. Well, we'll see how that goes. So we had a pretty good night last night. Okay, it was a little bit longer than expected. We came home at like 3 a.m. The thing is, is working in Japan, a lot of subways, they're closed at 12 o'clock midnight. So people who go out, they have to cap it take a cab home or have to walk like us. So we had to walk 45 minutes back to the car. Of course, we do like walking as well once we had a couple of drinks. But yeah, Serena's at the moment at the hairdresser. So I'm just getting some editing done. And this is how the car looks like. This is a bed mode. So we can chill here a bit. So yeah, still in our little car park here. And the plan for the day is we go to the Sapporo Beer Museum and then go to the Sapporo Beer Garden so we can have some unlimited uh, drinks and food for two hours. 100 minutes. Please. So we go to the Sapporo Beer Museum and then we go to an all you can eat and drink barbecue that lasts for two hours. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a Genghis Khan a Genghis style. Genghis Khan style Korean barbecue yeah. basically. So check it out. And then for, but first, Sapporo Beer Museum apparently is the oldest brewery in Japan. Mm -hmm. here for our all you can eat all you can eat and all you can drink package but unfortunately we couldn't get a booking mm -hmm. you have to have a look for what we can find So that's us done. Finished our all you can eat and drink meal. We definitely got our money's worth. <laughs> <Are you okay? Yeah. laughs> so go back to the car. A bit of a freshen up. I guess. Say, Which, oh, yeah. I, re oh, I don't think my mic's on, but doesn't matter. Mine's on. I think the lemon sour is delicious. They good. Really so, uh, soju with lemon or something. I think I think it is. I don't. I don't yeah. So yeah, go back to the car. Freshen up, like I said, freshen ourselves up. Put on a movie, Serena probably falls asleep within like 10 minutes. Yep. And I enjoy it by myself. Well, good morning, everyone. Morning. So, we're here in Faramo. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But there are lots of flower, it's uh, famous lots of flower fields and dairy farms. So, that's what we're going to do today. And then later on, we have to a Mission Eki near Blue Lake. But first of all, we have to get some breakfast going, which we usually don't eat, but we start eating more and more breakfast now. So, we're going with some toast ready. Then we do some avocado, smashed avocado. Oh, a little breakfast. Gotta need some lots of energy. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, oh, here's a good advice. Don't push your kid. It's 
go and see some lavender fields. Look at this. Open air. Side by side we sway there in all the colors. I think it is a song. It's a peak, isn't it? No. As you can see, they just planted all of these. So it will be look amazing in a couple of months, or let's say one or two months. I could really use some stuff like that. They come, you've got magpies and you've got crows. So we're inside and uh, you can actually buy lavender scented postcards, write on it and then you put it back in the plastic. You can also buy the stamps here and then you can send it off straight into the uh, post office to your loved ones. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. Arigato. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, you can't smell through a camera, but it smells lovely here. It smells delicious. I feel relaxed. And, uh, we were just discussing about the lavender ice cream. Still eating it. It's very good. It's, it's really nice actually, but it tastes like it smells and that's the only way to describe it. There's no other way to describe it. <laughs> so if you can at least see this little water fountain thingy. Anywhere else in the world, I would say this is not well maintained, it's dirty. Here in Japan, I think it looks amazing with the moss. Don't know what it is. That's commitment. Even the scooters are purple. Yeah, something, something happens with water and cooling down. Yeah, and then you get a scent. Well, we had enough ice cream. We'll have a look at the cheese factory and the pizza factory. Oh, yeah, there you can see. Cheese. Well, we both still love a good cheese better. Oh, yes. We're yet to find some good cheese here. Definitely something I miss. Yeah. I guess Japan is not really the cheese country, maybe. Uh, cheese eating country. I, did, I didn't know France is down here as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this doesn't belong to Germany either anymore. <laughs> so apparently, you can milk this car. Oh, really? Okay. It's just water, it's yeah. not even milk. Actually, it's. Well, I liked it. How is it? That's a bit better than the cheddar. Mm. It's very it's light okay. though. People prefer French cheese. Yeah. So this one is a Mason de Pierre. 
Uh-huh. Let's go and eat one of our all time favorite foods. Pizza. <laughs> ah, worth it. Let's destroy this bad boy and then we keep going. Pizza was okay, I had better, but it was so soggy here in this country. But again, we're not in Italy, so we can't expect the best. But yeah, that's it. So now we go back to the town. I might see if I can find somewhere where I can get a haircut. And maybe a beard cut, get a beard cut as well. And then we go off maybe to a, open the onsen and blue leg. We'll see how we go time-wise. <laughs>